Hey guys, in this book to screen, I have two web series that I would like to share with you guys. The first being Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party, and the second being Bright Summer Night. Okay, let's get going. Before I do talk about these two particular web series, uh, there will be absolutely no spoilers about either of these, so feel free to continue watching. And yeah, you guys, I am a huge fan of web series, especially if they have a literary basis to them. You know, I, there's just been so many great modern adaptations recently. I mean, you have you had something like the Lizzie Bennet Diaries several years ago, and Pemberley Digital has just done some really great work there. And then, yeah, like The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy, which I absolutely adore. Just so many great creative people putting modern twists and spins on these these ancient classics. <laughs> so yeah, I have two in particular that I would like to share with you guys, and the first one I'm going to talk about is called Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party, and this is put out by the channel called Shipwrecked. Out of the two web series that I'm going to be talking about in this video, this is my favorite. <laughs> I freaking love this web series, you guys. It is just so genius. There's no other word for it. It's just genius and creative and very humorous. And there's also a surprising amount of emotion to it. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but there's some pretty shocking moments that occur in the web series. And I was like, huh, this is really touching. <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you can't tell from the title of this web series, Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party, it's kind of exactly what it says it is. And Edgar Allan Poe, in the web series, he wants to host this, this dinner party, so he invites all of these other authors from classic literature. And I have a list of notes here to let you guys know who exactly is at the dinner party. Uh, we have Edgar Allan Poe himself, of course, uh, Emily Dickinson, Mary Shelley, H.G. Wells, Charlotte Bronte, Oscar Wilde, George Eliot, Louisa May Alcott, Ernest Hemingway, Theodore Dostoevsky, and also some fictional characters from Poe's work like uh, Lenore and Annabelle Lee. So yeah, this, this web series is done in the tradition of something like Agatha Christie. It's very Agatha Christie-esque. And, and yeah, episode one, someone dies. Uh, I, I think it's safe to, to say that. I don't think it's much of a spoiler. You know, if it's a murder mystery, I think it's obvious there is going to be someone who dies in the very first episode. So all of these literary authors, they have to team up together and try and solve the mystery. And it's all sorts of hilarious, you guys. And especially if you're someone like me, if, if you're a literary buff and if you have a bachelor's or master's in English or something, like that, you know. If you love literature and you love classic literature, this web series is definitely for you, uh, especially the humor. I think I think English majors will definitely kind of pick up on the humor, uh, especially if you are familiar with a lot of these authors in particular. Just all the little little side jokes and whatnot. You'll you'll just find yourself laughing and giggling hysterically. And I honestly do, you guys, if you have not watched this web series, I highly recommend it. You won't be disappointed. It's it's beautifully crafted and put together. I mean the 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 two siblings who put this whole thing together, uh, you can just see their dedication and passion and how much they enjoy doing this. The script is amazing. The acting is really good as well. I was pleasantly surprised. Plus, I mean, uh, some of the, the, the characters in here uh, there's a couple. There's a couple people from like the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. There's a couple people from uh, what was what was the Harry Potter musical called? The uh, the very the very Harry Potter musical or something something like that. That musical that came out several years back. But yeah, there's a lot of familiar actors in in this little web series. If you've watched other web series, you'll immediately spot some of these people. And it's just so good, you guys. Seriously, really give it a chance. It, it looks good visually. Uh, it's in HD, it looks like. Like I said, a terrific script, terrific acting. And uh, like I said, if you're a literary buff like me, you'll find yourself 
enjoying it perhaps a little too much. <laughs> so moving on, the next web series that I would like to share with you guys is Bright Summer Night, put out by the channel called The Candle Wasters. And this is a modern retelling of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. And the, the synopsis for this web series, um, it takes place over the course of one night in this, this house and there's a bunch of teenagers and they're all having this party. And if you know the, the events of A Midsummer Night's Dream, you know that things are going to get crazy. <laughs> and another really terrific web series, you guys. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, the Candle Wasters, these people are also responsible for the amazingness of another web series called Nothing Much To Do, and that was also based on a work by William Shakespeare uh, called Much Ado About Nothing, and that was a freaking amazing web series as well. And once again, very much like uh, the shipwrecked web series I just talked about, these teenagers, you guys, you could just see the passion and dedication, a beautiful script, great story, some, some okay acting. I wouldn't say I was impressed with a lot of the acting. There was a little bit of iffy acting going on here and there. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, punish the web series for that. But, but in general, really, really incredibly well done. I mean, the story more than anything, you guys, you gotta watch it. So if you do know the original A Midsummer Night's Dream, you know that it takes place over the course of one night and it has a lot to do with fairies and these couples and the shenanigans that happen. And there's just a lot of miscommunication going on within the play. And that's what you see paralleled brilliantly here, even in this web series. And this web series handles a lot of those major themes within Shakespeare's own work just quite brilliantly and geniusly. And of course, this is a modern take on this well-told classic. And I really like what the Candle Wasters did here. Uh, 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 just about all of the characters, uh, quite a few of them at least anyway, a lot of characters are gender swapped, which makes for some interesting storytelling. And, you know, the, the characters, they deal, since this is put on by teenagers, it's a story told for teenagers, the story talks about issues important to modern teenagers. Uh, things, you know, dealing with drugs and alcohol and relationships and whatnot. I mean, you know, just all of these different things that are important to teenagers nowadays. And uh, the story just handles it so cleverly and and really, I think it really has a message by the end and it gets it gets quite emotional by the end, I think. And yeah, just a warning, since this is based off, off of William Shakespeare's classic, yeah, things get pretty psychedelic. <laughs> Definitely very, very psychedelic in the middle. Of, of the story. So once again, I highly recommend this web series as well. It thoroughly impressed me. I found it very captivating and engaging, and I just really liked the twist on this familiar classic. So yeah, you guys, in the comments below, have any of you seen these two web series? Uh, if you haven't, I highly recommend you go watch them right now and put them in your watch later playlist because you won't be, be disappointed at all. They are both terrific and incredibly well done. Uh, if I had to choose one, if you only had time to watch one, I definitely recommend Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party. <laughs> that is definitely my favorite and I'm just super obsessed with it at the moment. But yeah, you guys, are there any other web, web series that I should be watching at the moment? Just let me know down below. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.